a tourist has been uh, seen approaching the eruptive vent of the Stora Skogfell uh, volcano and that was rather unpleasant according to the police chief of the south of the uh, Iceland's Reckoning Peninsula. Uh, he put himself in great danger and uh, uh, in a way we can say that he was lucky because we had over a spill in the past uh, few days and that over a spill has uh, developed into a uh, lava tube. A lava tube is a hollow structure that can uh, potentially be dangerous, but that is not limited to what you see. Lava tube forming is you can see that it's forming there. That cannot be limited just to there. We see the evidence also for the recent lava overflow or spillover. As you can see here, I marked it here. Before that, we we blame him for anything. I just used the uh, opportunity to measure the height of the volcano. And uh, if uh, we assume the person who looks Chinese, if we assume that we, he has a height of the 1.7, we come to a conclusion something between 35 to 40 uh, is the height of the volcano. This is the vent, which is, up, uh, of course, the top north one. Uh, the danger of this I've covered in a different video. You can watch that and see. Earlier today, we saw something very strange. The whole lava lake was empty. This is the K1 volcano and this is the Reckoning Peninsula of Iceland, latest episode of the volcanism. As you can see here, we have just the glow reflected from the walls of this emptied lava lake. It is just a chasm at the moment. And later today, again, we had something dramatic happening, a collapse. This was huge. And the location of it was interesting. It was not the wall just it was something extending toward the view toward the viewer as you can see here it is a lava tube collapsing and i will play it again for you this is two times of course i will play it in real time so you can see actually how it uh, collapses this is the real time and you can see first part collapsing is closer to us actually so if anybody was there thinking that they're away from the rim of this uh, lava lake. They were the first to go down if the collapse was happening at that time. I'm telling this because people, visitors, we have been seeing them going to the area, walking to the rim, looking at it. There was even some videos of, of that. And this is dangerous. I've reversed it again. You can see that. And the first part collapsing is the part that is away, probably around 50 to 100 meters away from the rim and this is collapsing and where the lava has gone this is all the traces of lava you can see now they are toward the green dubik not close to it of course this is the remnants of it the lava lake was drained just a small amount remained and this is the watch is advancing and it will gradually cool down if the volcano don't become active i have that video which showed that what happened when the people were close to that uh, rim. This is similar to the lava tubes that we see in the Hawaii volcanoes. And uh, as you can see here, it's just a crust holding the uh, you know, weight of the people and anything else that on top of it. Uh, there is a video which shows a few tourists, uh, a couple and a kid it appears, approaching the K1 crater volcano. Uh, Two hours before that, this MBL uh, video I, uh, I had just because of the heat uh, rising from the volcano was showing you it beautifully in the clear sky. Uh, uh, so we can identify, use this compared with that uh, video, which I give you the link. This is not that one. This is from the MBL. Uh, and this gives me a chance actually to find something that I can scale it and use the... Uh, that is scale to measure the size of the volcano. That is the area that uh, uh, the um, those tourists were approaching. This is the closest point to the lava from the Sunuka old craters, and this is the uh, quite a channel that you can see there from the edge of the channel where the, those guys stood. Um, the distance to the um, volcano itself. Based on the scale given on the map by the Iceland Meteorological Office, is 300 meters. And 300 meters 
from there for the uh, to the edge of the volcano. The volcano itself, from one side to the other side, in my estimate, is uh, 120 meters. So based on that, we can use the image from the MBL actually to measure the height of the volcano. This is the area that those familiar features stand in the white rectangle, appoint the base of the cone, and you can see 120 meters restored from there to the end of that other side. The height of the volcano, which is, you can see here, the highest point of it, in my estimate, is around 40 meters. So this is the closest we can get to estimating the size of this. And 40 meter looks realistic, and this is the height of that. I'll give you the link to that original video that I was talking about, and you can watch that also. I recommend you watch it and enjoy the view anyway.